Highway Heroes? Is this the first time you hear about it? Yeah, because you got get a movie. Oh, today. So the first, it was the first time on on And are you excited? Yeah, if it's enjoyable, then I'll enjoy it. It's my first time, but I feel great. Hopefully, then you want to win. win. You'll be a winner. The competition started in April 2019 and received an overwhelming response from drivers and fleet owners wanting their share of the grand prize. With the Highway Heroes being implemented, the drivers are more acceptive of uh, following the rules and then they are more eager uh, to be safe on the road and knowing that at the end of the day they might even uh, win something for just doing a proper job. When I talk to my guys, it's just, just do what you be did with what you have trained for and what you what you have been taught. Just just do the right thing. That's all you must do. Just do it better than the other guys out there. The drivers would come through, would explain uh, what Highway Heroes is about and what it is that we're trying to do um, in terms of assisting them with um, you know better driving behavior on their roads. Clearly, the support for the campaign was massive. With over 3,000 entries, the drivers were keen to get the competition on the road. Once the drivers had signed up, they carried on with their daily routines in which they were closely monitored by a telematic system. We work on five different parameters of the competition. First off is the speeding at a kilometer an hour in excess of 15 seconds. Uh, we look at the harsh braking events, fatigue day and night, and then we look at how many kilometres the driver did in a specific time frame. Aside from monitoring driver behaviour, Hollard also makes the safety of their heroes a top priority whilst they're on the road. We do alerts, uh, your panic alerts, your battery disconnects, your uh, dash tempers, even hijackings that we get in, in our bureau. We try to make sure that every vehicle is recovered. With them being so closely monitored, we wanted to find out what were the drivers doing to ensure they stayed in the race. Uh, check the truck around underneath, uh, just around if everything is working, especially the lights, the headlights, stop lights, turning lights, my tires underneath the truck. Start the engine first, and then um, only some light indicate mm -hmm. and check the truck around. When driving your truck, you can't have a speed. How do you manage your speed especially? Okay, I drive 80 mostly. Mm -hmm. It's safe also mm -hmm. to drive on that speed because the truck takes a long before it can stop. As prepared as one can be, there are always unexpected obstacles that one can encounter on the road. Uh, it was so around 11 o'clock, I, I was from Douglas to PE. Then, then I slowed down there. When I have just to pick up my speed, then people came out and beat me with the bricks. You don't know what you're going to face, where, you, where you're heading. You don't know. No, like we were parking the Bay Head mm -hmm. Road in Devon. Mm -hmm. So these guys arrived towards early in hours. Mm -hmm. Then they took my hours per wheels. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which areas would you say you don't like driving, it's not safe? Entry. Mm -hmm. I hate it with my whole heart. Because even if you have had the breakdown, you, you must leave your truck, or else people, they came, they came and they, they rob you, even they can kill you. These heroes are constantly risking their lives to provide for the country. We caught up with 2017 winner Philip and his family to hear what exactly they have sacrificed. Spending time with the family, especially the kids, because they are very young and they need him. Especially my son is very fond of his dad. And he constantly asks when he is away, when is daddy coming back? Even on the phone, that's what he asks, nothing else but when, Daddy, when are you coming back? From the young age, I used to tell him that um, Daddy has to work for us to have a living. We usually uh, go shopping together 
and then we try to spend as much time as possible with him. I mean, six weeks is a lot of time away, so we need to be spoiled. <laughs> not seeing my family. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, it does give some stress. The family has given us a curry, more begin. Given us maybe two times and then we can take a high. No, we can do it. Every weekend take a high. Three children. Three children. And how, how often do you see them? Oh, once a month. You must make sure that uh, you drive safely so that you can go back home safely and see your family. So when I think this 100,000 is yours? Not really, but I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. If you get it. Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Actually, right now I've got three kids. And the other kid is still is in university. Mm -hmm. So I'm struggling a bit with the payments and stuff. Mm -hmm. So when I get it, I think the first thing I'll have to pay for my... The fees. The fees for my child. Yeah. You must expect the un un unexpected. Because I wasn't aware that I would reach this top. So you must be always on your toes. You'll never know what will happen tomorrow. Um, from now, I'm starting to build my house. I okay. have uh, three kids mm -hmm. and I want to marry. So 100,000 for the, your marriage and to build the house? Yes. Who's so going invite at your wedding? Well, my, uh, what is called that? The flower boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ha! Wouldn't that be a sight to see? Well, stay tuned because when we return, we find out who is the 2019 the Holland Highway Hero. Of Holland Highway Heroes 2019 is...